solidarity with the Nigerians who are facing hunger and hardship under this Tinubu regime. There's been brave protests organized over the last year against the fuel price increases, the currency uh, devaluation, and now what looks like the electricity charges will be increased. And it's clear that this is causing hunger and hardship for millions of Nigerians. And we're here in the UK at the Nigerian Embassy, uh, standing in solidarity with those who have been arrested, including Moses Sadiq, Adarama Yimayo Lenin, Michael Lenin, and also the uh, Joe Ajero, the NLC trade union leader. These people have been attacked by the state because they are fearful of, um, of the organized working class. They are fearful of the protests and the fact that the Nigerian masses do not support this Tinubu regime and what he has done. It's clear that the protests must be continued and their intensity must be increased with the support of a 24-hour general strike organized by the NLC and the TUC. And those of us here in the diaspora and those who are part of the international labor movement must also support the campaigns. They must support the campaign to release um, all those who have been arrested for supporting the protests. Uh, they must be released without charge and they must also support and put pressure on this Tinubu government to reverse all of these changes which he has, which he has implemented and to fight for a better Nigeria where the wealth and resources are put into the democratic control of the working class and the masses and used to support them rather than enrich a few corrupt leaders. Thank you.